If you're the type of guy that's wondering what it's like to have a K-pop fangirl loving girlfriend Korean slash it means a lot to me girlfriend, then this video is definitely for you. Launchy booth. Today's topic is how is it like to have a K-pop fangirl friend? <laughs> People are actually wondering, kasi, uh, how this relationship works or how it is like to have a fangirl friend. Sometimes, kasi yun yung pumipi pumipigil sa kanila to uh, pursue a girl, na fangirl, kahit gusto nila. They are hesitant, kasi they have this stigma. It's not easy to have a fangirl friend. And yeah, it is understandable. But, you know, before ka pumasok sa isang relationship, you have to be sure of yourself first. Huwag ka munang pumasok sa relationship wherein you're gonna be, you know, taking care of other person's security. When in fact, yung sarili mo hindi ka pa sure. So what we're gonna be saying here is gonna be based on relationship namin and on our own experiences and opinion on the matter. First off, meron din naman kasi talagang iba-ibang klase ng K-pop fangirl. Just like any other girls. Um, ako, just to clarify, hindi naman ako all-out fangirl. So correct me if I'm wrong, parang may tears yan. <laughs> so one, let's say 1 to 5, 5 yung pinaka-extreme. How would you rate yourself from 1, 2, 3, 4, 5? 3. 3. <laughs> Sabihin natin 3.7. 3.7. Mas lamang ako sa extreme. Mm, medyo. Medyo. Mm, okay. <laughs> May mga girls na talagang willing gumastos. Ang salapi. Mm -hmm. Merchandise, concerts, etc. For the sake of the fandom. Pero, hindi ako ganyan. <clears throat> okay, di good. Konti lang. Diba? Konti lang. Konti lang. Konti lang. You can attest to that. Pinipigil lang kayong sarili ko. Right. Alright. Right. So, we will go through some questions. Actually, ilang questions lang. Tatanungin natin si Lonay. Um, let's go. <laughs> first question. What was your first impression? And... Ano yung naisip mo the first time na laman mo na I'm into K-pop? Recollecting my thoughts. Hindi naman kasi siya big deal way back then nung naging kami. K-pop siya? Okay, K-pop. So, hindi ko pa talaga alam kung ano yung K-pop. Alam ko lang, um, they're into a certain kind of genre na Koreans ang kumakanta. Kalaunan ko lang nalaman ng mga guwapo pala yung mga yun. Ah, ito pala yun. Ah, ito pala yun. Mga poging dancer. Yan. Isa din siguro na um, kay, dapat malaman ng mga ng ibang tao about K-pop fan girls or there, there is a lifestyle. Mm -hmm. Just like what I said earlier, there are people na talagang willing gumastos. And aside from that is yung time siguro na nakoconsume pag papapag pag <laughs> pag 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 consume sa pagnood ng concerts shows etc that would eat your time together hindi mo na realize eh? no ano yung pinaka difficult part or yung pinaka mahirap na part of having a relationship with a K-popper i guess is yung idea ng lifestyle ng lalaki now for for my lifestyle, part ako ng indie band, um, creating our own music. So yung binibigay niyang suporta sa K-pop, yung uh, hiyaw hiyaw, ganun, applause, applaud. Basta wild din kasi K-pop girl eh. Pag nag appreciate sila ng K-pop. Pag tumugtog na kami, nandun lang siya, steady lang siya. So parang nagtaka ako, bakit ganun? Bakit? Ba't, ba't ganun yung support na nakukuha ko sa kanya? Can so that's in? dali lang. This is my time to talk, eh, ba? Second thing siguro and more importantly is sa guy yung siguro self-esteem, yung security ng relationship, 
yung confidence nung lalaki. Ayan. Kasi ang gagandang lalaki nila eh. Ang nakuha ko lang siguro compare mo sa kanila sa akin is yung pagiging singkit. Pero other than that. Yun. So, tingin ko yun yung mas importante. Yung... Singkit. Yung ano, welfare. Um, nung lalaki, in terms of, siguro emotional welfare ng lalaki. Just to answer that, yung 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 hindi man ako umihiyo sa <laughs> hindi kasi ang ang Kaya offer niya kaya pala may lights tika pa oh jung ko kaya sa kalaban hindi ang awkward kasi sa K-pop kasi I, I am usually with my friends and with other fandom as compared to your gigs the people there are not like that ano hindi ano hindi talaga <laughs> Hindi talaga. The people there are different. I don't believe so. No, the people there are different. They are different people for every genre. Hindi, I mean, they're different in a sense na hindi sila K-popper. Pero they're all the same when it comes to support, applause, and yun, pinaka-support. Kailan mo natanggap and paan? It again depends on the level of maturity of the relationship. Kumbaga, it doesn't matter kung K-pop man yan, or P-pop man yan, metal man yan, hip-hop, R&B, or kung ano mang lifestyle lang meron siya, mahilig man siyang mga bayo, magsabo. It actually depends on the maturity of the relationship kung paano mo tatanggapin yung mga, yung personality ng girlfriend mo. If you think at some point na medyo disruptive na sa relationship yung behavior or habit ng from any of the partners, you should at least talk about it first. Actually, very important the communication naman yun. Tsaka siguro you have to keep in mind lang na like K-pop is just one aspect of the girl's life. Ang um, parang ang problema ng mga tao or ng mga lalaki sa K-pop is sa K-pop boys is yung um, superficial looks nila or yung looks nila per se. Paputi, pogi, maskulado, guwapo, singke, guwapo, singke, koreano, koreano. MSGK yan, ng Rueda, yan, pakinggan nyo yan. Sinulat ko yan para sa kanya. So again, do not get into a relationship if you are not secure yourself. Ah, siguro isang thing dapat natin tandaan is, if you can't have her at her worst, then you don't deserve her best. So, worst coming up. <laughs> and also, I would just like to let you know that K-pop is not just about the superficial stuff. Yun kasi yung nakikita lang mga lalaki or most of the people na padit. Um, <laughs> may mga taong ganun eh. I mean, yun lang yung nakita nila. They look at it the way they want to look at it. So, um, I'm not, you know, I'm not saying na you have to be into K-pop as well. Pero, you have to also know what your girlfriend is into. Or parang, bakit ba ganun? Bakit ba ganyan? Na parang hindi naman siya negative experience all throughout. Diba? Yeah. Um, we clicked and we worked. So, it can work. Yeah, definitely. Kasi tulad na sabi ni Lai, it's just one aspect of a person, yung pagkikipop na yan. Pero what's more important is yung kung bakit mo mamahalin yung isang tao. Aww. Final advice for any guy who wants to consider or already has a girlfriend that's a K-pop loving fangirl, pina-advice ko dyan is ano, acceptance acknowledgement and learn to respect the person's each each person's boundaries or each person's um, passion kasi yun yung gusto niya that what keeps her happy and let it be pero if at some point na disruptive na yung behavior niya <laughs> if at some point disruptive na yung behavior niya then you should talk about it and it's not just about k papa any behavior that's disruptive, K-pop or not, from both parties. Para lumalakas yung bosses na. <laughs> should be talked about. Yeah, right? should talked about. 
from a K-pop fan girl perspective, those opas, those K-pop groups are entirely different from your boyfriend. So, syempre, iba yung bigat ng boyfriend mo that you committed to. Diba? So, for you guys out there, there's nothing to be insecure about. If you love a person, both parties can adjust and compromise. Right. Now, a quick message sa mga K-pop girls. Ang daming tunay na tao dyan na makakausap mo, magkakaroon ka ng pagkakataon na to build on a relationship, spend more time on those opportunities. Aww. In conclusion, don't be afraid. If you like someone who is a K-pop fan girl, go for her. Huwag <laughs> <laughs> ka na magpigil! Huwag <laughs> ka na magpigil! Ano pang hihintayin nyo? So that's it for our topic today. I hope you enjoyed it. And sana nakatulong tayo sa mga guys that wanted to have a K-pop Korean fangirl loving girlfriend out there. Plainly just to give uh, you guys an idea how it's like or what it has been like. Exactly. In between us. Between me and her. So again, thank you very much for watching. Please don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share the video if you like the content. Again, this has been Lonai and Lychee, and you have been watching. <laughs> you have been watching Lychee Boom. Again, K-pop is not nothing negative. It's not <laughs> bad. <laughs>